What's up, guys? You are tuned in. You are locked in to another edition of Blog It Up Tuesday for the week of September the 23rd. And this week, well, we're going to be changing it up a little bit. We're going to talk about professional wrestling and where it's going and how, well, how much it really sucks right now. And the reason for this week, the reason why I decided to go with pro wrestling uh, this week is because I was actually doing some research uh, earlier within the week and I came across um, some stuff that some of you may or may not know, but a lot of you true wrestling fans out there should know who this person is. But uh, former WWE and TNA head writer uh, Vince Russo. Uh, he used to also do some stuff for WCW back in the day. Anyways, uh, he put out a very interesting video the other day that caught my attention. And uh, he he talked about professional wrestling and where it's going. And, and I, he, he put his true feelings, his true thoughts on what was going on with wrestling today. And uh, he, something that caught my attention with Vince uh, Russo was he decided to start this new project called the Dear Vince Project. And what this is about is you go ahead and you do your video, you can go ahead on social networking and by using the hashtag Dear Vince. And by doing that, it'll hopefully capture the attention of Vince McMahon and World Wrestling Entertainment and their writers. Um, we all know that over the years, uh, professional wrestling has changed so much. Uh, being that, uh, listen, I, I grew up in the era of, uh, of WCW, the original NWA, the GWF, uh, the AWA, uh, WWF, uh, WCCW, all those great, uh, promotions are the ones that I grew up with. Smoky Mountain Wrestling, um... And so all that stuff is what I grew up on, and that's the wrestling uh, that has always captured my attention. Now, it was the days of of wrestling. There was a little bit of entertainment to it, but the, it was all about the wrestling and having a good time and making championships mean something. Over the past couple of years, uh, WWE has has fallen in my eyes. Uh, I used to be a huge, huge wrestling fan uh, for the longest time, and then I kind of got away um, from wrestling, just because the product wasn't interesting to me anymore. And I've been following wrestling for a long, long time. I'm I'm 38 years old, and I've been following wrestling for about I want to say maybe 30 years of my life. Um. You know, it, there was a time where, uh, when we had, WWE had competition, WWF had competition. And uh, you had the WCW coming up with WWE, and then you had, in the middle you had ECW kind of, kind of, uh, fighting each other for the audience, the wrestling audience. And back in the day, man, I used to love having that, that option to watch whatever product I wanted to watch. To have that option to, hey, well, you know what? WWE is going to commercial. Let me go jump over to WCW. Hello, let me let me tune into ECW. See what's going on this week. Now, I'll be I'll be honest with you. WWE's product has uh, has fallen in my eyes. I, I don't think it's a great product like it used to be. And uh, Vince, Vince Russo went ahead to start this Dear Vince project to hopefully capture the attention of Vince McMahon, uh, Paul Levesque, Triple H, uh, Stephen McMahon, to say, hey, you know, there's wrestling fans out here who want to who want a better product. I know that there's there is there are hardcore wrestling fans out there. Who they don't care how much WWE is going to change, no matter whether it sucks or if it's great, you're still going to support the product, and and that's cool and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But the truth of the matter is, when you go out there and put out a product, for example, Monday nights, when you put out a product 
and you got more backstage action, which honestly a lot of it doesn't make sense. And not much wrestling happening on a three hour show. And a lot of you guys can agree or to disagree with me and that's fine, I really don't care. But the truth of the matter is, listen, to put on a three hour show, in my eyes, I think it's a little too much. You know, I, I think WWE having Monday Night Raw for two hours, I think that's enough time. And I understand that the USA Network, they, they want it to have more. They wanted to have a little bit more out of the World Wrestling Entertainment. And WWE went ahead to try to take on that challenge. And honestly, I think that was probably the biggest mistake that they did was to take on three freaking hours. I mean... I feel the product that's on these days, and I'll be honest with you, I used to just have my cable on so I could just watch, you know, Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, and TNA, and all that stuff. But you know what? I cut the cable off because it doesn't enlighten me anymore. It doesn't capture my attention. You know, at first I was kind of a little excited about the whole WWE Network uh, happening and stuff like that. I was like, oh, let me go listen to the reviews from everybody else and see how they like it. And I realized, man, I go up on YouTube and, I, and I, I watch the videos on YouTube that WWE has and whatever. And I'll be honest with you, man, it, it sucks. I'm not into the product, man. And I'm sure Vince McMahon is not going to care about, you know, me not being into the product. Because honestly, I feel maybe Miss, Vince McMahon doesn't really care about his viewership. Those who really support the product. Yeah, you know what? No matter what, I'm one measly person that who doesn't want to support the product. But I'm not the only one. There are thousands and thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people out there who don't support WWE anymore because the product is stale. It's old. It's boring. And it's unfortunate because WWE has been the top-notch uh, wrestling promotion in the world for so many years and maybe that's the key on why world wrestling entertainment may not change because honestly WWE doesn't have competition WWE doesn't consider TNA competition WWE doesn't consider Ring of Honor competition WWE is not even considered Jeff Jewett's new promotion competition because WWE has been around for so long. Whether we support the product or we don't, I don't know. I don't know if they're ever really going to make a change. And, and it's unfortunate because a lot of wrestling fans grew up watching a product that we, that we loved. And now I feel like we don't have much to look forward to anymore. I feel like Vince McMahon and World Wrestling Entertainment are more focusing on entertainment than wrestling. And the true talents of those in the World Wrestling Entertainment locker room. You know, you can go ahead and put on the biggest show. You can put up the biggest sets. But let me tell you something. Take away those sets. Those big flashy lights. Go back to the old school days when you didn't have an entrance. Go back to the days of where you just had a guy walk out to a theme and go in the ring and wrestle. A lot of you guys are probably not going to agree with me with that. And that's fine. That, that's great. No big deal. However, if you're a true wrestling fan... And I'm not saying that I don't appreciate where World Wrestling Entertainment has come or where it's gone. I'm not here to smack down uh, on, on WWE. Only oh, TNA is a horrible product too. And I don't think TNA is going to last long either. And that's a sad truth. Unless a nice TV deal comes out of it for TNA, I don't think anything seriously is going to happen with TNA. I think TNA is going to just slowly fading out. And right now, it's slowly fading out. I say by the end of the year, you know what, Spike TV went ahead and they they, they gave them, uh, extended their contract by a little bit, but 
I'll be honest with you. If another television program doesn't pick up TNA, TNA is gone. It's done. It's falling apart as it is. And TNA and Dixie Carter are trying to do their best to try to keep it around. They need a miracle. But this is not about TNA. This is about World Wrestling Entertainment. Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon, and Paul Levesque. I have the utmost respect for what you guys do. I really do. I got respect for you guys in the wrestling business. A lot of you guys don't know this, but I wrestled uh, independently for about four and a half years. And I got to work with a lot of great superstars who came out of World Wrestling Entertainment. And, uh... I feel War Wrestling Entertainment needs change. A lot of you wrestling fans out there who are true wrestling fans who know the business almost inside and out who kind of know what happens behind the scenes and if only a true wrestling fan will kind of know that. You, you, you know what? We're not going to know every single thing that happens but I'll be honest with you. I have a little bit of background in professional wrestling so I kind of know uh, some of the ins and the outs that that comes out to putting a promotion together and how kind of how to make it work. I'm not saying I know everything, but I am knowledgeable enough to know. WWE stock has gone down quite a bit. They're releasing stupid stars quite often. They're giving contracts to WWE superstars. Maybe they're paying a little bit too much money for these superstars. Maybe they're spending money in movie productions where you shouldn't be spending money on movie productions. I don't think the wrestling fan really cares about seeing WWE movies. I think the wrestling fan wants to see that wrestling. Getting back to what I was saying earlier, I, I went and I checked out Vince Russo's um, page on YouTube. And you can go on over and look him up. Just look up Vince Russo and check out some of his videos. And, uh, you know, I've had nothing but the utmost respect for Vince Russo for what he's done for this wrestling business. And um, he, he's done a lot for this wrestling business. And a lot of people don't realize that. Some people hate on him. And that's, and that's cool. Everybody has their own opinions. And he, even he'll tell you. He says in his videos, hey, listen, you know what? Not everyone is going to like who I am and what I do, but I'm very opinionated and I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about wrestling and what he thinks should change in this business. Even himself doesn't want to tune in to World Wrestling Entertainment every single Monday night because it sucks. Some of the storylines that you got going on doesn't make any freaking sense. Listen, they got they bring in writers from television shows and things like that. I'm not knocking anybody for, who works on television shows, but they also bring in writers who have no knowledge of wrestling. How can you bring in somebody into into a world they have no experience in, Vince McMahon? Like I said, I, I respect what Vince McMahon has done for this business. And I got the respect for them for where they're trying to go. And what the product they're trying to uh, make it. But, what about us, the wrestling fans? What happens? Vince Russo put out uh, a video a couple of days ago. And he's, it's called the, the Vince, uh, the Dear Vince Project where he writes an open letter to Vince McMahon, Paul Levesque, Triple H, and Stephanie McMahon. And he tells them on how he feels about the product. And he wants all the wrestling fans around the world to share their thoughts on the wrestling product, whether it's good or bad. I went on, and, and as a matter of fact, you guys, you guys want to know more about uh, Vince Russo and what he's doing uh, as of late. He's doing his own uh, his own podcast, and he's also doing uh, 
some some video stuff up on YouTube, and you guys can go on and check them out by going to www.pyroandballyhoo.com and uh, go check him out. And uh, he's got some great stuff going on. He's doing a, a lot of things behind the scenes. But you know, Vince Russo, he's sharing his thoughts, and he's not. He doesn't have anybody holding him back from saying, hey, you know what, you can't say this, you can't say that. I mean, mind you, when you're on the contract with a company, of course you can't say anything about anyone. Because that, that's your job. But Vince, man's a free, uh, Vince Russo is, is a free man to where he can go out, go out there and express himself. Not to say that Vince McMahon, I mean, Vince Russo, excuse me, um, doesn't go out there and express himself anyways. And I gotta give credit to Vince Russo because Vince Russo has always told it like it was. You know? You give Vince Russo a script, doesn't mean he's gonna stay on script. That's just the, the fruit of the nature, if you know what I mean. Vince Russo is one of those that he believes in the wrestling business. He may he may will always be a, a wrestling fan but he's one of us just like the rest of us he was around in the wrestling business for over 20 years and uh, he has we all have the right to express ourselves and I hope that Vince McMahon will come across these videos and will understand where we are all coming from now I went ahead and I expressed myself after watching the uh, the Dear Vince project up on uh, Vince Russo's YouTube page. And again, if you guys want to like to know more on Vince Russo, you can check out his uh, his official website www.pyroandballyhoo.com. Also, if you want to know more on the Vince uh, Russo uh, project on what he's doing with the Dear Vince project, you can go on over to his official website for this www.dearvinceproject.com and uh, go on over and show him some love but I, I went ahead and I, I put it in a reply on uh, the YouTube page that so you guys can check out as well uh, I said Vince McMahon is his own man I say that respectfully because Vince McMahon doesn't care what the true wrestling fans think it's his product and he will do what he wants with it it's unfortunate because WWE needs change and right now I do not even watch the product because it's lame. It's not entertaining to me. I grew up in the days of GWF, the NWA, the WCCW, the WCW, the WWF and many other great promotions out there. I don't think that the WWE product is not going to get any better anytime soon and that is my honest opinion. It's unfortunate uh, uh, because they can do things with the roster that they have. They have a great roster that they're working with, but they're just not utilizing them correctly. And I think that the NXT is much better uh, better than what we see on Monday nights. I have respect for Vince McMahon for what he has accomplished in over the years, but the truth of the matter is it's not wrestling anymore. It's freaking entertainment. And I just say, get rid of the stupid gimmicks and let and give us something special, because honestly, I don't care much for watching the product anymore. It's sad to say for Vince McMahon to go all in on something different. None, no one should ever have to hold, no one should ever have to, to wish for, for, for change. But this is a wrestling product. And for actually change to happen... And I, and I pray that maybe one day that Vince McMahon will be smart enough to say, "Hey, you know what? We're losing stock. We're losing. We're losing our viewership. It's dropping quite a bit. We need to do something different." But unfortunately, I wouldn't hold your breath. Vince Russo is a smart man and has the mind for the wrestling business. No matter what anyone has ever said him about him in the past, things. Uh, Things happen for a reason, and maybe one day wrestling will become entertaining again. But I will not support a product that gives me half the passion of what it could truly be. I don't like a half-assed product. When you sit there and you watch a product, when you give me a storyline, a storyline that doesn't even capture my attention or doesn't even interest me. 
something that I find boring. That's something that doesn't really relate to what's really happening. Night of Champions. Great example. Some of the storylines were not built up properly for Night of Champions. What do you do? And the other thing that bothers me too, and I go on to say, and I forgot to mention, is that I feel that WWE championships do not have any true meaning to those who carry it anymore. I feel like the championships are just a damn prop. It's sad, but it's true. Respectfully yours, DJ Fritch. Yeah. You know, I only hope nothing but the best for World Wrestling Entertainment. But honestly, Vince Russo makes a great point. And if you go ahead and you watch his uh, Vince Russo launches the Deer Vince Project, if you watch that video on YouTube, you're definitely going to understand where he's coming from. A lot of you guys are probably going to think he's an asshole, but you know what? He's a businessman. He knows the product. He knows what works and what doesn't. And him, Vince Russo, and Ed Ferreira have done great things in this business. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, but they have. They may not have earned your respect, but they have earned mine. So, um, hopefully, we'll see something happen soon with with the WWE product. Because unfortunately, I feel, and like I said, I don't think Vince McMahon doesn't really care about the viewers. I don't really think he really cares about the product. I think Vince McMahon is getting to the point where he's stepping back now. Paul Levesque and Stephen McMahon. I don't know. Give us something special. Because right now... And I'm not trying to be an asshole about this in any shape or form. But... I'm not interested in what you're putting out right now. Make me a wrestling fan again. You know, I got into wrestling in 1999... And I wrestled up until, uh, I want to say 2003. 2003, 2004. And I worked with some great legends. I worked with Jerry the King Lawler. I've had the option to, uh, the, the availability to work with uh, Gangrel. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work with Gail Kim, uh, Tracy Brooks, um, and a lot of other greats in, in the business working independent shows you know and uh, I feel like I don't have that passion anymore and I, I would hope and, and the only reason why I got into the wrestling business because I, I during that time you know you had you had WCW you had ECW and you had World Wrestling Entertainment going at it one on one and I was like man I grew up when I was, when I was a kid I was like man I want to grow up I want to be a professional wrestler At first I wanted to be a police officer but then I was like you know I always love wrestling I want to get into wrestling I want to learn what it's about you know I go to, to a wrestling school in Connecticut and um, and I learn the ins and the outs of, of what happens behind the scenes and how things are put together and then for me to sit here Many many years later, to say, "Wow, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not a wrestling fan anymore." When at one time I was really truly inspired by the wrestling business itself, and those who led us into the wrestling business, who opened the doors of watching World Wrestling Entertainment, Extreme Championship Wrestling, and World Championship Wrestling. I will always be a Paul Heyman guy. I will always be a, G- a Vince Russo guy. Many greats in this business. So Vince McMahon, I hope and I pray that one day you would listen up to what we have to say. Because honestly, we are the fans that come to your events. We are the ones who buy the tickets. We are the ones who bring in that income for you to have your business. So I think it's time that you listen to us, the wrestling fans. 
Give us something better. Give us something that we want to that we want to tune into every single Monday night. I'm not saying that the superstars that are part of World Wrestling Entertainment are not doing their job because you know what? They can only do the best that they can. But if you're providing them with poor uh, support for storylines, then they can only do so much in the ring. Give us the reality of wrestling. Don't give us the entertainment. Guys, if you guys would like to know more, again, go on over. If you want to go ahead and do your own videos as well, you can. Um, you can uh, actually... I'm going to go ahead and post this up for you guys. You guys can uh, check out Vince Russo. Uh, if you're going to go up on... Uh, join forces, actually. Just go ahead and do this. Join forces with uh, Vince Russo and be heard by using the hashtag Dear Vince, whether uh, you're using it on social media for Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, anything like that, please feel free to use the hashtag Dear Vince and help bring wrestling back to where it needs to be in WWE. If you'd like to know more, please uh, check out uh, Vince Russo's official website at www.pyroandvalleyhoo.com and if you want to support the Dear Vince Project, go to www.dearvinceproject.com for more information. With that being said, guys, I am your host, DJ Friction. And uh, till next time, let's keep wrestling alive, guys. Spread that love, and I'll see you guys all soon. I'm DJ Friction, and I'll see you on the other side.